So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are back today with more classic gameplay. I know some of you like it, some of you don't. I do apologise if you find this series boring, but hey, I enjoy it because I like the old school classics. I was brought up watching David Beckham, Yapstam and, uh, you know, Vidic came into play. Even Irwin and Gary Neville and Roy Keane. I watched them play, you know, Eric Cantona, even Cancelsius used to be my favourite player back in the day. So that's why I enjoy it. You know, when people say, well, there's no player ID, but look, still, you know when you're George Best, the stats of him compared to someone like Yap Stam, Yap Stam doesn't dribble like George Best, and George Best doesn't beast like a tank like Yap Stam, so you still get it in there. But anyway, this is what we're going to go for. A couple of players are up for it. Not too many changes uh, since the last game where we dominated, to be honest, but we didn't pick up the three points. We're going to start Cantona up top. He's been all right, but a little bit disappointing, to be honest. Uh, Charlton, who came on as a super sub in the last game, will start. Ryan Giggs, best. Keane and Scholes with Yapstan, Vidic, Neville, Irwin, and Schmeichel. Uh, there's a look at Boca Juniors. They've got Palermo. They've got uh, Maradona, of course. Uh, Riquelme as well. So they've got some players to watch out for. We will keep it at a 11-minute game, which is just dandy. And what I'll probably do is play the first three, and then I'll start combining them. Um, I may even do sort of three games in one episode after this against all the teams, and then we'll push out into the knockout stages so it doesn't run on too long. But, yeah, those kits look good. Let's dive into it. So it is wet, wet conditions for today's fixture as Roy Keane and Diego Maradona both bring out the sides. And United... Drew their first game. They look to bounce back. Can it be done? Well, we've got 90 minutes to find out. Kelmy up against Yap Stam. Well played Stam. Eric Cantona. Ryan Giggs, Man United love to use those wings. They do stay out wide. George Best is uh, going down. Gary Neville. Still taking his time to get up. He's going to be offside there. That's uh, pathetic. That's going to be a yellow card for uh, the Locker Junior man. Not quite sure what that was for. That was uh, the challenge on Best. Apparently he elbowed him in the face. I think George Best made the most of it. And there's the clarification. United with a decent start here. Here's Cantona. Uh, another a dirty challenge. Ryan Giggs feeds it back outside to find Cantona. And it's going to be a corner. Early, early pressure by the home side. The referee playing a couple of good advantages. Giggs back to Cantona. Slight deflection. It's a tough angle. And it's a routine save. It's going to be best. Absolutely wail this one in. Looking towards the back post. Giggs. Back to find Dennis Owen. And he couldn't find the back of the net. Diego Maradona. Poor pass given away. Ryan Giggs. Poor play by him. And that's the rain for you. Cantona. Still wanted, just trying to get half a yard here, Cantona. Gary Neville. Good feet by Cantona himself. George Best can skip past Mussolino, who's got to be careful all game. He's up against Best. He's going to dribble at him. He's got to time those challenges to perfection. Otherwise, that yellow will turn to a red. The game's got a little bit more cagey now. Keen. Gary Neville. Cantona. Cutting back inside. Cantona! Decent effort. Good save. Denny Serwin. Skulls. He's giving it away sloppily. Giro's done well. Fizzes it up the line. Vidic is going to have to make the challenge. Misses the first one. United still on the back foot. Deflection. That's the first corner. On the away side. Chance to deliver. Looking for that near post. What a chance. Probably the best chance of the game. Because he's only about six yards away. And if that's on target, that's a goal. No saving that. Kiyomi. Used it to be Gapstab. 
Paul Scholes. Cantona, beautiful feet by him, and he wins the foul, surely. And another booking, it has to be. He's had some good touches today, the big Frenchman. He was far, far too quick for the player that time. So quick on the ball, isn't it? And when he gets the ball, George Best, he doesn't care, he just runs with it. That's what he's all about. Irwin, Charlton. He's done well to stay on his feet. It's Irwin, delivers that one in towards the back post. Maradona, haven't seen too much of him. He's given it away sloppily, and that is what Bobby Bobby Charlton does for you. He does not need a wedding invitation to have a strike from there. In fact, the strike was so powerful, I don't think the cameraman could even keep up with it. And of all players to lose possession, it's Diego Maradona. He picks it up here, turns right into trouble, and then bosh. I mean, the goalie barely moves. You will not see a better strike for a while when it comes to sheer power and accuracy. Look at this. Beautiful. Vinic plowing his man to the floor. Play by Beckham. Jolton, lovely turn. It's going to be Jolton again! Every time he gets the ball, you think it's going to go in the back of the net. Left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter what foot it's on. Quick turn, past his man. He's heading in. It's a good save. Charlton, skip past his challenge. Maradona, Ratin, trying to play it back again, but the big gap stands there. Irwin, he's been caught napping with the pants down. Grillo, tries to play the give and go, but the Irishman is plowing his way back. He does well. Gary Neville's missed it. And United have been caught here. It could be the chance of the second half, their only chance of the second half. Maradona will take it. Sure, it will be a good delivery. It's not bad at all. Beckham gets up. It's fallen back towards the edge of the box. And Charlton takes it away. Still going, but he doesn't manage to maintain it. Roy Keane flicks it on. Maradona going to get that one out of his feet. And for his standards, that's not good enough. Better from the away side. It's taken him a while to wake up. But, uh, yeah, just got it all wrong, Maradona. It's a good challenge. Giggs, Charlton, referee, got blocked off, said it was OK. Maradona up the line. This is where that give and go can come into play. Good bit of play here by Boca. Flicked over. And luckily, the header is a dainty one. They're just switching off here. That's a little bit naughty, naughty. And it's going to be a yellow card for Chiro. Well, a couple of changes, Nisselroy and Brian Robson placing gigs and bets. Vidic finds Gary Neville. Another late challenge. So many of them today. As the ball's whipped in towards Nisselroy. He's just come on. And he nearly scored. Straight from ahead, it was a wonderful ball in by Beckham. It's going to be David Beckham. Couldn't get it up and down over the wall. Robson up the line. Beckham delivers that one high towards Nisselroy. There's another chance for him. He's the kind of threat that you have over George Best. David Beckham's ball in. It was a high looping one, which means he had to generate the power himself. He'll feel he should have done better. Starts again. Flicked on kindly. Flicked on. United just need to get rid of this. They haven't. Vidic gets it out. Roy Keane, that's a horrendous challenge by Roy Keane. Gary Neville smashes it clear. Nisroy flicks it on. We're into the final minutes of stoppage time. Got the juniors, they do have a chance here. Well played, Vidic gets it out. The referee does look at that watch. And that's the full-time whistle. Manchester United holding on by one goal to nil. 
thanks to uh, Bobby Charlton's fine strike in the first half. Let me take a look at the match stats. I mean, they look more even than they probably were. United, eight shots to five, 49 to 51% possession. Man of the match today was Charlton. So the other results, Arsenal lost to Rangers, Real Madrid beating Sao Paulo, AC Milan beating Barcelona into Drew, Bayern Munich 1, Liverpool lost to Santos, Juventus beat Ajax, PSG drawing against Chelsea and River Plate 1, Celtic nil. So we have a look at the group, AC Milan, they've won both their games, they are up next and as people said they are probably the toughest team in the group, not Barcelona, you are right, uh, hopefully it will be a tough game but we do have a three point cushion over Barca. Group 3 there, Bayern Munich leading the way in Group 4. We've got Juventus winning both their matches. Group 5, Paris Saint-Germain have been pretty poor. Group 1, Rangers. Look, look at that. Not bad at all. Real Madrid second. So there we have it. We are going to be back against AC Milan at home. Let's have a look at their side. They've got some players, haven't they? Van Basten, Rude Hullet. Yeah, they've certainly got some quality as well as at the back with Nesta, Maldini. So yeah, we'll be looking forward to that one. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you're not, I do apologize, but we've still got masterly coverage to come. Until next time, take care.